So this is uh, this is novel shooting with my phone. No frills and spills, no mics, no uh, B-roll and so on and so forth. Um, it makes a nice refreshing change. So I wanted to um, touch a little bit more on the recent DMTX uh, video that was, sorry I've got the dog, so I have to throw the ball for the dog otherwise she'll go mental. Um, yeah, the recent DMTX, the recent DMTX live stream with, uh, moderated by Dr. Gallimore and uh, Graham Hancock, Rick Strassman and the New Nautics crew and the participants of the recent um, extended state research that we've been banging on about for ages um, at Imperial College London. It was it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it was great to hear the participants talking about their experiences. Um, what I thought about the participants in particular was that they were obviously they're academics in this space. Um, so the way that they put their information across was absolutely fantastic. Uh, really clear and concise. A nice mix of sort of. Um, you know, objective opinions and subjective opinions of what's going on in the DMT space. And bearing in mind, you know, Carl is a, is a scientist, and I thought that um, his, I just, I just thought they all came across really well. I thought that they sort of had a great mix of, sort of esoteric, um, you know, blending of science and sort of mysticism was quite cool um, so yeah it was it was really good I thoroughly enjoyed it um, so obviously we had shot a video with Carl previously of some probably 18 months before this was released you know like I say we, I mean who, who, who are we who are Justin and I just a couple of guys that can make pretty films that have had DMT experiences um, and Carl was kind of bound to to release that information. He wanted to release it with us. Um, it didn't happen that way. But look, you know, we're all we're all here to share the knowledge, and I don't really care who gets to release it and who. It would have been great for our channel, but you know, we, we just move on and we create new videos, and we'll 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 achieve what we want to achieve with this channel you know, off our own means. So. It was great, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, the guys in the in the study, one participant in particular really got my attention, um, and that was Jack. I don't know who Jack is, I'm guessing he knows Carl. I might give Carl a ring and find out a bit more about Jack and maybe do something or ask if he would be kind enough to do something with us going forward, but I found him I found him really interesting. He really got my, I don't know, he seemed really grounded and like of all the participants, Jack to me, without even saying it, seemed to be the guy that has gained the most insight from these, uh, from his DMT experience. I'm guessing he's got a quite a, you know, varied, uh, and checkered history with psychedelics. He looks like to me that, or he sounded like he, he definitely knows his onions. So I found him really interesting. I found his, just his kind of presence was, um, I liked it, I liked it. I thought he was very articulate. I thought he, it wasn't really anything in particular that he said, it was just, his whole sort of ambience and the way he put himself across, I think he's got a lot to talk about. And, and maybe, you know, he didn't, um, because they were sharing the panel and sharing the airtime with the other participants, I think there's a lot more to Jack that, that meets the eye with regards to his experiences and his insights. I think he'd be very, very valuable to, uh, to to get to know and to, to speak to and maybe do a video with. So Jack, if you're listening and if you hear this, um, 
and I'll, I'll give Carl a shout and see whether or not uh, that's something maybe we can put together. But on the whole, it was great. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, looking forward massively to it progressing and whether or not there are deeper dives. Um, and as Jack said, like, you know, the DMT experience, the smoked DMT experience, this whole psychedelic uh, adventure and kind of pathway into the future is, uh, is very exciting. And couple that with the advent of, of the new machine learning um, breakthroughs from OpenAI and these large language models and this kind of new intelligence that seems to be emerging. Couple that with sort of TMT studies. Um, it's going to be seriously, seriously exciting times that can thunder forward at an ever increasing pace. And we might get some, um, some magical insights coming out of that. I'm interested actually with the with what I've been sort of researching about the um, the brain scan um, data training with these large language models that, that are then able to kind of predict what someone was thinking and convert that into an image and also with regards to um, dreams uh, I mean obviously I know that the, the DMT space is somewhat multi-dimensional <laughs> very difficult to, to, to put together in a in an image but you've got to start somewhere right so that's it i think uh, a phone video dog barking i'm just off to do some client work in the next couple of hours justin and i are going to be putting together a load more content this whole thing with putting this video out for carl really kind of I don't know, it just sort of slowed us down and knocked us off our trajectory a little bit because we were getting our, our balls busted by some of the viewers. But that's the reason why it didn't come out and, and that's no hard feelings with that. It's, it's all good, like I say, it's all good. We've got some interesting, very interesting content coming up. Um, some real cool cinematic sort of narrative pieces, which is what we do best. So we will see you all soon and hopefully um, I'll get a chat with Jack at some point. Anyway, peace, love, we'll see you soon.